Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 150. Yay! I'm Marie. I'm Dominique. Well, what is the answer? I'm in the same location, Dominique, yeah. somewhere else. Yeah, I'll give you a clue. Um, other way, other way, other way. Hang on, I'm doing it with the wrong hand. Oh, stop, stop. Oh, yes. Snook Point. Hmm. North Sea. Bead, no. Sea Houses. One of my, I love sea houses. It's nice up there. Is I'm the not, weather nice? I'm not quite there. I'm off that map, but I'm not far away. Are, are you, uh, is the weather nice? There you go. That's. Oh, perfect. The sun's coming in from here with cloud over here. Are you in your usual spot or have you vacated another premises? No, I'm where I should be. Hang on. Good. Hello, um, everyone. Um, it looks nice. It's it's nice here, cold, but really nice and sunny and fresh. So have you been for a walk on the beach yet? No, not on the beach. Uh, I want to say... I've only walked around here. I've walked down by the stream and over some fields. I thought, I'm going to be rushing. I don't, when I go, I don't want to be, well, I'll go more than once. I want the whole day. So um, I've stayed local today and then I can I'd use the rest of the, you know, when I've got a full day, yeah. go somewhere else. Have you been in the pool yet? No. No, but I'm signed up for water aerobics on Tuesday morning. I mean, you could always take the camera along, and we could what could join in. You could have a live session. I could get the. I, I can stand in the bath. Water aerobics Tuesday morning. I've been. I nearly had a game of snooker by myself <coughs> this morning, but I didn't. They've. Oh, I mean, they've got tens of jigsaws. I was just about to say, have they got any jigsaws on the go? Yeah, I've. I've got one started, and I shouldn't have started mine. I should have used one of theirs. But anyway. I'll do more than one. Um, so, yeah, I've been for a wander here, not driven. It took longer than I thought yesterday, so it's nice not to be in the car. So, have you got yourself booked in for any beauty treatments? Uh, I'm going to have my hair chopped off. <gasps> that's it. Well, no, that's not it. I'm going to have my hair chopped off and my eyebrows waxed. Because I think it's three, if not four months since I've had my hair cut and probably two and a half months. So that's why the fringe is long. You can't see the eyebrows, but that's it. Are you uh, going, how, how short are you going in your hair? Are you just having a trim or even a chop? Who knows? Who I mean, knows? The, you never know until you turn up, do you? You know, with a minute, I'll say, just take a couple of inches off. But when I get there, tune in next Friday to see. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. So, I'm just off the A1. I'm about a mile and a half. I am smack bang between the A1 and the East Coast Main Line. So in just the north, in the Northumbria Coast Line. Just west of Bamborough, yeah. Nice. Nice. Very nice. So <sighs> yeah. So I've brought what? three jigsaws with me and four knitting projects. I was just about to say how many knitting projects. That's reserved for you. Well, because I've got this blanket. If I don't that's, yeah. you know. No sewing, no sewing machine? No, no sewing machine. Oh, no, I've been quite reserved when I was loading the car, I thought. I could get loads more in, but I've been very good. Otherwise, I'm just going to spend a week sat here doing jigsaws and knitting and not seeing the Northumbrian coast, so. And it is a beautiful coastline up there, isn't it? Really nice. Oh, Angela's saying, love sea houses, nice fish and chips. Yeah. Where should I go, Angela? What chip shop should I go to? So any suggestions, people? Because I'd normally go to the Copper Kettle in Bamber, but that's shut for refurbishment. I'll go, I'll definitely go to Barter Books in Annick at least once. I'd say so, go to Craster for some crab, but I know you don't eat it. No, but I will go to Craster at some point because I'll do the Embleton to Craster and back walk. Yeah. So Hello from Vietnam. 
Uh, but yeah. it's not there, is it? Um, I might, because Dad, Dad was talking about going away somewhere, so I might suggest going up there somewhere, because then at least he hasn't got, you know, it's not too far for him to go. Yes. Um, and it's yeah. always nice this time of year, I think, you know, when the, it'd be nice if we could get somewhere overlooking the sea. So yes. I might have a look and see. I should have thought about it. I didn't realise I come home next Thursday and then eight days later I come back up to Amble to, with, for a weekend away with two of my oldest friends. And I thought Amble was lower than Newcastle. But as I kept driving, I kept thinking, oh, I've got this mammoth journey to do in eight days' time. But, you know, that'll be a completely different weekend with friends. But Yeah, it'll be nice. It'll be well, nice. It will. Oh, dear. So what have you got on then? Sure, so how are you getting on with your blanket? Um, well, let me show... Before you show the blanket, because you've all seen blankets, I thought, I'm on holiday. So I really need a holiday cast on. Oh, yes, good girl. And what would you cast on if you were on holiday? What wool would you use if you were on holiday? You'd Double. use holiday jigsaw. Oh, <laughs> Of course you would. You've got your jigsaws, you're on holiday, you cast on with holiday jigsaw. So I've just cast on a pair of socks, double knit, because four ply just takes forever. Um, nice. Just cast on a pair of holiday jigsaw. Oh, with your standby pattern of a little bit of cable? Well, this isn't even cable, this is just pearl three, knit one pearl three, so you get a little bit of a... Nice. I just get bored just going, unless it's stripes, I get bored, so. I meant, I meant to say, I was, there was a post the other day on Winnick Mum about somebody saying, you know how you don't like your pearl bumps on your feet? Yes. And, and they were saying, do the princess sole. Yeah. Where you reverse it. Have you tried it? Yeah, someone else suggested that. Um, Nikki has told me about that. Or you could just wear them inside out. Well, you could just wear them inside out, but it depends how how you like. You know, me, I like seeing my knit stitches on the outside, but un, underneath, but... Yeah. But double I knit socks... I will wear double knit socks because you don't wear them with shoes, so they're a bit easier. Like, I'd wear them when I come home from work to put them on to keep your feet warm, yeah. but... That they look really nice. Is that scarlet then it's with? Yeah, that's scarlet. That's actually a real true... Um, Colour, I think, of the holiday jigsaw. So yeah. you're in a good location there for the light. It's obviously the Northumbrian light that's best. Well, there. I'm right in front of this big bay window, so it's perfect. Perfect. I hope you're waving at people when they walk past and go, "What is that lunatic woman doing talking well, to people?" When I got here last night, it was almost dark, but not quite. So I just came in, as you do. What my view like? And as I looked down, not that I was looking, but as I looked down into the property just in front of me there was a lady sat knitting perfect so you know it's clear the place to be no no one's looking at the minute so yeah just a pair of toe up double knit socks with holiday jigsaw nice so double knit socks go 10 times quicker so they do they definitely do and they're well, easy to I don't need to look. I can be sat watching telly yeah. and do them. Well, you'll be pleased to know I am on my cardigan. So I have done, I mean, the collar. It's massive. I've done the collar. The collar's all finished and, and down the front. I've got one full sleeve. On oh, cast off. And cast off, and I'm on with the other one. So I have used, I used quite a lot of the yarn on the um, the um, collar. collar. So then when I've done the collar, I thought, right, I'll split the ball into two. So I know that if if it's a different colour, then it's not going to matter. Do you know what I mean? I can do the same length on each sleeve. Yeah. And I literally split the ball in half, and I got to about there. <laughs> So I've had to, so I've kept the other bit for the other one. So I literally had to wind the other 100 grams of each just to do that much. Oh, I think, so, I'd have been, I think I'd have been tempted to cast it off three rows early. 
Well, I couldn't because I did try it on and it, it, I needed I needed the length. Do you know what I mean? And I thought for the sake of it, I'm not I'm not going to ruin it. So um, I didn't decrease the sleeves because I know that they're supposed to be quite a narrow sleeve, but I don't like them too tight. So I didn't decrease. I only decreased a little bit here when I got to my elbows. You can sort of see it there, can't you? Yeah. Um, but um, so the yeah. colour stitches are the colour stitches. Do you put them on hold or do you have to pick them up? You have to pick them up. I know, but look how deep the colour is there, Dominique. Yeah. Oh, I know. So it, it's short rows. You can see. It's, yeah. It's I know, short rows. Kay and Lisa's right. and looking at the pattern. It is yeah. really, really yeah. deep. Um, and I and I'd forgotten because because to get my attention, instead of doing all the all the cardigan on four mil needles, I did it on four and a half. And you're supposed to go down um, when you're doing the hem, you know, when you're doing your rib. It's yes. got to go down to a smaller needle. Well, I never do because I quite, you know, because I'm tight knitter. I thought, oh, I'm not bothering. So, of course, I'd forgotten and just kept going with the four and a half needles. And this should have been on three, three, seven, fives or four to my equivalent. I should have gone down a needle side. And I hadn't. So I had to message Kay and say, can you, mess, can you measure how deep it is? Because um, I, I'd done this lot and it said I still had another lot to do. And I thought, yeah. oh, it's going to be too big. So I'm pleased I did because I was about right where I... So I've done it to the dimensions rather than the yes. um, pattern. But it looks really nice on. Um, I mean, so, I mean, I, I know I've got to block it a bit, but not too much. But it fits lovely. So I'm on the other sleeve now. But it really, really is nice. I really like it. Looks nice with this jumper, doesn't it? Go it on. does, yeah. So how much have you used? So, so far... Well, when I get this sleeve done, I'll have used um, six balls. So three balls of the Fizz Whiz and three yeah. balls of the Midnight. But obviously that's because I'm holding them double to make. So I'll have used 600 grams. So I think that when I measure up how much I've used for the sleeves, I'll have probably used about 620 altogether, 630 right. grams. Yes. Um, but I'm really, really chuffed with it. So I've, I've written all... Of the different things I've done, and obviously I'm doing it the other way around. I've got my knit stitches on the outside. But I don't think it needs, I mean, looking at the stitches, it doesn't look as though it needs much block. You know, you can usually tell, can't you, if your stitches need, I think it might just need a gentle. I mean, obviously this bit does. Yeah. I mean, look at that. For me, that's a deep rib, isn't it? Yeah. Is that to the pattern? Yeah. 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 Um, so the only thing I went down the size on was my cuff. I went down to a four mil needle on that. Just so it brought it in a little bit more. Is that ribbed? No, no. it's a garter stitch, the same okay. as the... Yeah. That's why I keep looking thinking it just doesn't look... No, like... the bottom's ribbed. It's weird because you think that it would have been... Yeah, you would... Yeah. So I think if I, if I did it again, I think I wouldn't do the rib. I think I would just do it as garter stitch so it all matches. Right. Um, but anyway, so I've just got that sleeve to finish and then that'll be... But I mean, the colour, you can't see where it's joined at all. You can't even see the difference in the colour on the sleeve. Where is it? There. Under, the, like, from where I started but, there. Yes. So you can't even tell the difference, can you? No, certainly not on camera, you can't. No, you did a good job there. So I really like it. It's nice. I think I don't know whether next time I'd just knit it in double knit or whether I would use mild again. I don't know. Yeah, I suppose it depends. It would look completely different in a solid yes. colour, wouldn't it? Yeah. If you'd got a double knit multi, it would look a very similar... Yeah. Yeah, but I think because I've used sparkle, obviously our sparkle's got less on than if I'd used a, a non-sparkle. So I think if I'd used non-sparkle, I'd have got it down to 600. Because there's 20, yes. 20 metres yes. different on each ball, so that's a lot. Yeah, so you'd have got it out of 300 of Fizzwiz, 300 of Midnight. Yeah. 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 So, um, but yeah, it's really nice. It feels nice. The weight of it feels nice as well. It's not too heavy. So see what it's like when it's hopefully next week it should be finished unless, you know, 
the world I'm so, I'm just, I've only just joined us what is it what is it it is the um comfort fade cardi I mean as usual I haven't done what it says you're supposed to do it in a fade so it goes different colors but I've decided just to do it in um one color but I've actually instead of using double knit I use two four ply held together so one patterned and one plain yeah I'm supposed to do it so that the pearl stitches are on the outside and I did it so that the knit stitches are on the outside but apart from that I, I followed the pattern yeah, but when you look, it's by Andrew and Mary for those that have not seen previous episodes. When you look on the project page, people have done all sorts with it. They've oh, done yeah. it in colours. It was written as a fade. Yeah. But it, like any pattern, yeah. you know, people, people have... Stripes. I think yeah. it would look quite nice with stripes. I don't know. I've got... Yeah, who knows what I'll do next time. But it, yeah. I definitely think I would... I like the fit of it, and I think I would knit it again. Yeah. So, um, I like it better than the Sunday cardigan, because I knit two of those, didn't I, the two Sunday cardigans. Yeah. I like the fit of it better. Uh, um, they are completely different, aren't they? Absolutely, completely different. Yeah. But yeah. I just I like the fit of that, and I, I didn't think I'd like the collar. I thought it yeah. would feel a bit chunky, but it, it doesn't. It feels, it feels snuggly. And it's the colour that puts me off. I don't think I would wear it. I, I don't think I'd wear that. Yeah. So it's like we said last week or the week before, whenever we talk about cardigans, it's finding what fits you and yeah. what you wear. I was uh, dreading doing the colour because I was thinking, oh, my goodness, it's just going to take forever. I thought it's just going to take. Uh, do you know what? It really didn't because... It's short rows as well, isn't it? Short rows. And then, you, yes, you've got to go all the way down every, you know, after you've done your short rows, you do a few rows. But it really did grow quick. And it was like, oh, right, I need to do this next bit so I can get to the short rows. So it's the sleeves I found boring. Do you know what I mean? The, the sleeves have definitely taken me longer than I thought they would. Yeah. Um, but anyway. Yeah. But yeah. I think as well, because I wasn't following the pattern of, like, when to do all the decreases so I was trying to I was probably faffing about more trying it on measuring it seeing where I needed to do it yes but at least I've done the first one I know I've written it all down when I need to decrease where I need to decrease so the second yeah. one should be quicker yeah um, now Lisa's saying the collar makes it makes a good a great fit and yeah. really comfy. I think I'd quite like to make one as a bit of a cortigan for summer do you know what I mean in yeah I don't know, in a colour that will go with everything. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, because it's that type of thing, it's that type of feel, a bit a bit like a jacket. Yeah. But anyway, who knows? I won't be knitting it straight away, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they, we've only seen in the flesh Kay and Lisa's, and they both look beautiful. Yeah, really lots, nice. Lots of patterns. It's yeah. such a popular pattern. Yeah. Loads of people have done it, haven't they? Yeah. And you can use up your stash, you know, you could put, because I, yeah, you could do it like, you know, I'm doing my North Eastly blanket. You could put it yeah. with one solid colour and just put whatever you want in. That would look yeah. nice as well. Yeah. Particularly yeah. if you, if you did it, all your scraps and kind of faded them from really light to really dark. Yeah. You could do all sorts, couldn't you? You could do all sorts. The possibilities are endless. Have you got any other knitting there? I've got my, let me show you my blanket, which is exactly the same as it was, just there's more on it now. So, one, up two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm on day nine now. Oops. So Ooh, nice. Looks, it really does look beautiful. We're just going into evergreen. It looks so different. Yeah, but, you know, um, knitting this week, seeing people still doing the shawls and things, and they all look so different. Everything yeah. just, just looks so different. But that <laughs> looks really nice. Contrast with it and different patterns. Yeah, completely. So, itchy you know. um, Evergreen was day nine. Um, so I'm not a million miles away. Yeah, and I've and I'd said I really want it done by February, 
And I'd worked out, I'm down to two squares a day to do, to get it there. Um, so that's why I've allowed myself to cast on some socks while yeah. I'm away, just so otherwise it... You don't want to get bored with it though, do you? Because Or else you, you end up not doing it then if you're sicking yourself off. You may as well do something in between. And when I say it needs doing by February, I mean the squares have got to be done by February. Then I'll decide what I'm doing and then I'll I tackle that. Because... You see, what you need to do really is just get a piece of... Um, you want a nice blanket, please. you know, like the one... You want a nice fleece blanket and then just attach it to that so you don't have to sew anything in. Yeah. I think, though, unless you went for cream, you would see it. It would spoil it because you would see yeah. it coming through. I don't, I don't mind. It's just going to take me quite a lot of knit and natters to sit sewing them up. But Or a uh, retreat. I mean, I, I get about a row and a half done. I'll not get any time but yeah you leave it in a corner and you could say to people just feel free like if everybody just took turns we could get it all finished for you Dominique I'll just do one row I yeah. did the first I've done like the first half of three rows so we'll get it I'll get it done but so it's come with me I mean I don't know why I brought all the squares with me I could have just brought enough to do a week but um you were optimistic that maybe you know I don't know. I think I just thought I want it all kept in one place and then I know where it is. So it's it's in my Christmas present. And nice. I know it's Christmassy, but it's a nice big bag and it all goes in it. So perfect. Um, yeah, it's it is, it's perfect. So that is the Battenberg blanket by Sandra Paul. And I'll just keep plugging away. Good. But that is not going to be number one focus this week but i'll do so i will get some yeah. done so yeah. well so apart from that i decided i wanted to do a cast on so i've cast on a baby blanket which is going to be a present um and i'm doing it in these colors um, i got the it's bellissimo so and i got the wool from lincoln wool pack so it's very handy to us. You just put your order in and then you go and pick it up the next the next day. So I'm doing I wish you'd have said, because I've got, other than the blue and the white, I've got balls of that ready to go to a charity shop. If you run out, I have got balls of that. I mean, honestly, communication, we're not very good at, are we? So I've gone for those colours. Um, nice. And because it's a blanket and it's for a child, I thought... I was going to do a blanket in our, you know, the minis, and then I thought, oh, that's ridiculous because, you know, the double knit minis, because I thought it needs to go chucked in the wash. Yes, so, absolutely. And um, I've saved those for another project. Um, so I've started it, and I'm just doing a very straightforward chevron. Oh, I'm attached. Chevron pattern with the cream in between. Oh, yes. Um, so I'm just going to go up and do the, do the colours. Yeah. I mean, if you've got another bright colour, I might nab one then. Have you got any other colours in there? I've got the mustard, the burgundy, the olive. Because they're your colours, to be fair, aren't they, all oh, those? I did... I'll, I'll have to see if I can... I did my soul dotner in it, didn't I? I did a jumper in it. You did. So... Was there a blue or a turquoise? I can't remember. I didn't have many colours. I had four, maybe four colours. I'll speak to you after this then. If I go up yours, I might have a rummage. If you've got some, I might take some then. Um, I can't remember what I got, but I just know last weekend, when now I've got my standing desk, I was having a big clear out and I've gone through, I've got all sorts and I thought, let's just, I might have put that to one side Maybe to give to mum to knit blankets yeah. with. I'd, honestly, I was like, that can go to a charity shop, that can go there. That can... I, might, to... I might nab a, nab a different colour out of it just to give it a bit of pop of colour. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll find a picture of it and then I'll know which colours I've yeah. got. The um... uh, Is that a pattern? 
it is a pattern, but I mean, it's just a one row pattern, do you know what I mean? But it's a free pattern and it's on the Sweater Collective um, and it's called the Chevron Easy, Easy Knit Baby Blanket. And it's the Sweater Collective on Ravelry. Um, and it is literally, it's a one row pattern um, and you just repeat it. Yeah. And then um, you change the colours, change the colours where you yeah, like. Yeah, because the, the original pattern was done in like blocks of the same colour and I thought, oh, I'll just put different colours in and, and do yes. that. So, um, so I've done that. So that's sort of ploughing on with that. Um, but I've got nothing else. I've got nothing else on the go. I've got my hilly to do, but I need to, I'm not starting back on that until I finish this cardigan. Um, and I do well, need to look at that when I do it. Um, I've got oh danger danger pair of pair of scissors oh upwards in my bag careful I have you don't I've want to pull it yourself I've turned the heels on my socks oh nice lovely Fair so enough. I've just done um Oh, what was it called? It was called. What was what called? The oh, I can't. It was a um, it was a Wendy D Johnson. Oh it was right, some, okay. The basic slip stitch heel right. pattern, or um, th that's what I'd follow. Because I'm not. This is not a pattern. Um, but I have to put the light on because I'm dark. That looks really nice. Oh. I really like that. I have literally just done a one by one cable, and then I thought, well, I'll bring it in another, and then I'll bring in another um, as I go down the leg. Oh, so that is, yeah, I, it was just the basic slip stitch, but it's from the my. Sock go to sock book, which is the Wendy D. Johnson socks from the toe up, and I think it's called the basic slip stitch heel. Um, but I just wanted that turned, so I've done that this week so that I can take them when I go walking, I can take them with me, yeah, yeah. I, I, and, and I, I can walk in this or sit on a sit somewhere, in this. Yes. yeah. Um, because I don't need a cable needle, it's just a one by one cable that I do without a cable needle. Yeah. So um I don't need I don't need anything. I can just take them with me. So Very nice. and Very that nice. is you can't see, but there is sparkle in it. Yeah. And that's Candy Cane Forest by Green Lampkin Yarn. So I've got that and my double knit cast on that I've brought. I've brought, I don't know why I put them in because I don't think I'll knit on them. I've brought my felt nice. fusion ones because they are just round and round. Nice. Um, and then my blanket. So. Oh, good. Uh, that's. Oh, thank you, Susie. Uh, they are, I really like them. I just, I really liked the yarn. You know, and. But I even I've even caked it. Good lord. Not only that, I split it into two. I caked oh, it. Above. You're not knitting from the skin. Are you feeling all right? I think I was, I think I was, I don't know, bored, or I thought, I know what I'll do. I think I'd had to get the swift out uh -huh. to find some yes. for an order. And I thought, well, while it's out, I'll do yeah. it. Um I can't. I can't remember what I showed you last week. Did I show you my cast off stripy sock? Had I cast it off? I can't remember. Anyway, here it is. So I've cast no. it off. I was looking down at my note. No. Right. No, so you had it. Definitely not. I've cast it off. So that is all um, one sock done. And I've cast on the other one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I'm... Um, and have you got, have you cast on at the same point? Have. Look. I mean, Very good. the right way around it might help, might it? There. Yeah. So, yeah, and I just put a silver heel in. 
but uh, yeah, so they feel a little bit big. I, um, the wool feels a bit more stretchy. Um, and it does feel a bit more, it feels bigger on my feet. It's a little bit big. So I might just have to do a little bit of a shrinkage on them. Right. Stick it in the tumble dryer. Um, but I love them. Really nice. Really nice. Because the only problem is if it's a little bit too big, then it just moves inside your shoes. Yeah, that's true. Because mine, although I made mine into wristies, mine were smaller. Yeah. Well, this is too, this, I've done my normal 64 on the same needles, but it just yeah. seems to have given more this wool. Do you know what I mean? It's quite yeah. it's bagged a bit. Um, so I'll I'll just shove it in the tumble dryer, you know. Um, but they are they are I'm, I really love the colours. They're really pretty. Um, and that was laughing yaffle. I can't remember what flipping colourway was. What did I say? It was fairy lights. Fairy lights. Fairy lights. And it is, isn't it? You can see fairy lights. But I love it the colours of them. Really nice. Um, but you so, didn't do it. Thought heel. You put your heel in as you were knitting them, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I just changed it because of the stripes. When it's a self striping, I don't like to use particularly. I don't like to use it on the heel because it just distorts the colour. So at least then when you're wearing it, it just looks, you know, you just see all the... Yes. And then on the toes, it doesn't really do that that much. You don't notice the difference in it, really. But no. Yeah, I really like them. So, yeah, I do, Susie. I've always got socks on the go somewhere. In my little, in my little Joe Piccolilly bag with all my little gubbins on. Yeah. Badgers. Um, so... I mean, I'm going to have quite a lot of wool left, really. That might go in my blanket. Well, my... Um, the ones that I turned into wristies, I think I had three full repeats. And that yeah. was like, because it was a 14-strike colourway. Yeah. But I just kept going because I want... In fact, no, I didn't. Yeah. I, I had some left over because I made another pair, didn't I? Yeah, and your wristies were really long. And I mean, it's not much... They're about equal, you know, my socks are about equal. I do them for 17 uh, centimetres. How many repeats have you got? It's 14, what, how many colours? No, I mean, like, how many times do you repeat them 14 colours? Um, two and a bit. Yeah. So I started on that, on that, like, just above the pale pink, so that was the one repeat, and then... So you've got four and a half repeats. I had six out of my wristes. And I still made another tiny pair of wristies, yeah. so you will have loads left. Yeah, I will have a lot left. I could make another pair, put them towards another pair of socks, probably, make myself some shorties or something. Yeah. So um, I might try next time and do them with less stitches and see how that goes. It's just n knowing the difference in the wool, isn't it? Yeah. Um, uh, have you got the label there? Do you know how many metres was on it? Um, no. Hang on, it might be in my basket, like at the bottom. I, I did see the... Oh, yes, look. I mean... This it is, is there. Yeah. I it's... just wondered if the metrage was any different. Uh, it is. It's 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon, and it's right. approximately 365 metres. So that's quite short for 100 grams, isn't it? Yeah. Which would make it plumper. Yeah. And maybe that's why it feels, yeah. Because yeah, um, the yarn is slightly thicker. So I need to just remember next time. I think I knit another pair. I can't remember who the wool was from. And that was a, a higher percentage wool tonight. Not much. I mean, 5% is not a huge amount, isn't it? No. And then it was, oh, it was my, um, my The Gap socks. But they were Blue Face Leicester. Um, right. They came out a bit baggy, and I need to do the same with them because I put them on the other day and I had my trainers on. And I thought, oh, I need to change these before I go out because it for a walk because I could just feel my feet moving in them. Right. They're all right for in the house, do you know what I mean? But yeah. if you've got a pair of shoes on, so yeah. I just need to, yeah. And you know, people will probably be going, You're doing what? You're putting them in the dishwasher, in the, in the dishwasher. Maybe I should put them in the dishwasher. I'm putting them in the tumble dryer. They'll shrink them, and that's what I want, isn't it? But that if it's nearly 60 meters shorter than ours, but the same weight, 
it's going to be slightly thicker, isn't it? Yeah. So and you can you can feel it's it's just got more just just more I don't, not stretchy. It's just looser. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So and that's on two seven fives, which is what I knit my socks on. You see? Yeah, I do mine on two five two point yeah. five. So it's not as if I've changed needles. Although I no. found the, I found these needles and I had them in the cupboard and I don't like them. I couldn't find me to. I snapped me two seven five ones. I got it out and I normally use Addy Addy ones and I'd bent it. It had a dint in it. So um, I had found these in the cupboard and I don't like them because look at the point. They're quite rounded. Can you see? They're like uh, quite a blunt rounded end. I, yeah. And I like a nice sharp. Yeah. Um, so um, I just need to get myself some more needles. I think I looked on Amazon and they were, they didn't have any Addy ones in. They were like on a waiting list. So I thought, oh, I can't be bothered with that. I'll just get some next time I'm somewhere. Or if you if you happen to go to a wool shop, can you get me some? Two, yeah, two, I did inches? Google. I did Google wool shops near here, and the one in Annick popped up. And then when I went on to their, I don't think they'd even got a website. They've got a Facebook page. It was from like 18 months ago and the lady was saying she was retiring and this will be my last post. And so unless anyone tells me any different. I'll just have to put an order in. Yeah. If I find anywhere, you. I'll let you know. And if anyone knows of any wool shops up near sea houses. But yeah, the one in Annick, it was the only one came up. And the Facebook page had not been posted for a long yeah. time. It was like a, I'm retiring. Yeah. Oh, that's so a shame, I, isn't it? Shop, shop was shot. Yeah, Chloe, I, I mean, I, the amount of time I've put hand... I do, to be fair, do tend to wash my socks, hand, hand wash them, but I don't wash them that often. You can tell when your socks need washing. Yeah. Um, so I do hand wash them, but then I do put them in the spin dryer just to get the water out, and then I just... Dry, hang them up to dry um but the amount of times i have sort of chucked them in they've been inside a pair of trousers or something and they've come out of the wash and they've been on a full full biological wash I and they've been all right they've been absolutely fine sometimes a little bit you know the colors washed out a little bit but they're absolutely fine so but yeah i'll, I'll shove them in the tumble dryer and just keep an eye on because i only want them to shrink a little bit not much yes i'm shopping Rothbury. That's so why I was just looking where Roth <coughs> Rothbury was. Rainbow Yarns. It's south of here, but one of the places I fancy going to, um, I, I was just looking to see what National Trust was around here, and there's a place called Cragside, and that's near Morpeth. So I've got to okay. pass Rothbury to get to... Cragside, Morpeth, so I could do that on the same day. Yeah, you could. You'll have to, I'll, when we're finished, you'll have to let me know what you want. Yeah, I will. I can't go on Wednesday, it's closed on Wednesday. So, um, thank you, Marjorie. I must do, well, that, I didn't see it if it popped up, because I think I'd, or maybe it's that much further so yeah. yeah. Yeah, but if you're going that way, then you could do, couldn't you? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I don't need any. I don't know why I even Googled it, because I definitely don't need any more wool. But while I'm oh, it's got a great pizza restaurant too. <gasps> it's rude not to not to visit a wool shop though if you're near it, isn't it? If it yeah. Yeah. If rude. it's uh... so that's me. That's all my that's all my knitting. I've got nothing else to show. Oh, thank you. Someone's saying Craigside's amazing. The reviews, because I was thinking I was going to go there today. Excuse me. And then the reviews are saying uh, what an amazing place it was. And we did, we were there all day and we need two days. So I thought, well, it's not the place to rush. I think it's about 40 minutes away from here. So it's not like I can pop easily. Well, it's not that far, but yeah. there's plenty of other places. So 
Oh, thanks for saying that because that's it was on the Shall I Shan't I? Now oh, it's on good. the. It just looked like it's got amazing gardens. Um, oh, nice. Well, that'll be good. At least, you, yeah. Free parking. Like mm -hmm. Place free parking. Normally, very good, well signed walks and very good scones and a cup of tea in the tea room. Normally, it's what you can guarantee at a National Trust yeah. place. So, but now you know you can have a pizza as well and also call and see wool. Yeah, I mean, I could be out the door at nine o'clock in the morning and not back till, <coughs> till way past dark. So that will be that will be one day. I don't know what day. So thank you. Um, uh, yeah, any other suggestions while I'm up here? But other than that, I intend to walk along the coast. Do some jigsaws, some aqua aerobics, eat, you know, that's it. Sounds perfect. So this is, I can show you this one because God, the boxes are full of jigsaw pieces, but this is the jigsaw I've cast on. That you cast it on, have you? Oh, yeah. Cast it on. Started is probably a better description. Oh, the Agatha Christie one. Perfect. I like it. And it's got 90 clues for you to spot. And how are you doing? Oh, I've, I've literally, I started it uh, this morning. So I only did it before I went out. So the edges are done and I've just done... Yeah, the edges are done. This chair's done. These flowers are done. This marple is done. And I'm now just doing the curtains. Very good. So. Is it Miss Marple or is it Agatha Christie or is it? It's Agatha Christie. Nice. So it's the world of Agatha Christie. So you get lots of information and then it just tells you all about her. And then there are clues that I don't want to look at telling you where the nine oh, right. yeah, clues yeah. are, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Um, Kath, Kath's saying, find fettle fibres at Felton. You, I bet you can't say that after you've had a few pints. Where's Felton? Find fettle fibres at Felton. That's nearly as good as saying the Wensley Dale Longwell Sheep Shop. I did wave as I went past Kath. I did mean, you wave? When I said I went past, when I passed the sign for Labour and I did Did you not wave back, huh? I mean, you should have seen them was in past. I don't know. Was, on my way up, I thought, oh, I could just pop in and surprise Kat if she was there. And then the journey just took longer and longer and longer. And I thought, I'm still like 100 miles away from my destination. Oh, no. Sorry, Kat, I just, I needed to get going. Did you stop off on the wheel? Uh, yeah. Oh, Sorry, I'm trying to do two things. Yeah, I stopped at um, somewhere. Where, where did I tell you I'd stopped? I can't remember. You stopped somewhere for a cup of tea. I stopped at the um, McDonald's just south of Scotch Corner. Lovely. Lovely. Oh my God. It's the something. Oh, five fettle fibers in Morpeth, right? I mean, come on. I know exactly where it is, because if I'm ever coming north, that's where I'll stop. I'm just looking. Leeming Bar. Leeming Bar. And I was about bang on halfway. It was 200 and something miles up here, and that was at about 108 miles I stopped. It's a long blooming way, isn't it? I forget... I forgot how long it was, if I'm honest, coming up, but, you know. It's like when I go to Dad's, it normally takes me two hours to get there. But you then forget it's still a good hike from where Dad is up. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. It's still about another 80 miles past yeah. there, I think. Yeah. Yeah, Dad's um, is about 120 miles for me, just over 100, around about 120 miles to get to Dad's. So. Right. But, um, yeah. So, Ooh. thank you, Kath. I've put fine fetal fibres down as well. I mean, I'm going to go on a ride. What night to do everything, but on a ride? I was just cast on a new jigsaw. Angela, what jigsaw are you doing? 
I've seen a, um, when I get this one done, I've seen a spot the difference jigsaw in oh. the games room thing, which is a, obviously it's the same jigsaw that's on the front, but it says there are 33 differences to spot. Oh, heck. So I fancy doing that one and there's two was jigs in there, so. Oh, very good. Let's see. Let's see how much I get done. Depends how Not, much sleep you have, I suppose, doesn't it? Well, it depends how much I give up my knitting. Yeah. Yeah. So, and it depends a lot tomorrow how long the Andy Murray match goes on for, because I intend oh. to listen to that. Did you listen the to the, morning. did you watch the other one? The one well, that went on forever? That had started before I left. I couldn't get it in the car. Yeah. And then I listened to the last, I don't know, nearly an hour, I think, when I got up here. So, um, oh, oh. is that the same one as the equivalent one that you've got of the Agatha Christie then, the Jane Austen one? Just put yes, I think it is. Yeah, I think it's the same. Or is that it an M I mean, this is not going to be much good, but is it? Because this is upside down because I've got my bits in. But I'm... is it? Is it the? Because this is the world of Agatha Christie. Because there's the Sherlock Holmes one, isn't there? There's. Is yeah. It the Bron is it one of the Brontes? I don't know. Because Caroline had done one the other week, hadn't she? Yes. But that wasn't a Jane Austen one. That was just a book, book type one. Of. Yeah, you have to guess the book titles. I think there was three in that series. There's book titles, music and film and TV, I think. But it's just quite nice doing... It's a yeah. nice jigsaw. This looks like a nice jigsaw. And then there's lots of clues. Like, there's just... There's just pigs and things in funny spaces. You know, there's lots of just randoms, but very random things. So, watch this space. Um, I thought this was going to be a quick one, but putting the edge together, I don't think it's going to be that quick. But uh, we'll see. We shall see. Have you watched the um, by Lucy Worsley the Agatha Christie story? No. It was really good. I watched it over Christmas. Yeah, it was really interesting. I saw it and I don't know why. It was really interesting. Really interesting about her, Agatha Christie, and when she had a breakdown and everything. It was really interesting. I've not read, I've never read an Agatha Christie. You've never read an Agatha Christie? No. no. And I don't think I'd enjoy reading it. I like, I like a Miss Marple. I will watch Poirot, but... I would always prefer Marple, yeah. and I don't think I'd enjoy reading them. I've got the compendium of all the Marple stories. Yeah. I think it's in about three big books I've got. I have them all, but I've said this before, when I was a kid, I remember I had meningitis when I was about eight, and I was off school quite a while, um, and in hospital, and mum used to buy me the little, you know, the thin um, Agatha Christie books, and I had absolutely... Loads of them. I nearly must have had nearly every one that her mum bought me them all. And yeah. I'm so because I think she gave them away, um, unless they're still in my dad's loft somewhere. But um, So I've read a lot of the books. Maybe um, I would enjoy it. I don't know. We'll have to try one of these. Yeah. Um, I've, I've not posted this. I will have to post it. And this will show you the front of the thing, because that was me this morning, just about to cast it on. Cast on again, yeah. In the background, Miss Marple. I'd got Miss Marple on the telly doing Miss Marple. It was it was really it was interesting to 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 watch. Um, but yeah, I'd seen the book because I nearly I was I got the book on my list and then I saw the television program and I thought, well, now I've seen the television program, I probably don't need to read the book. <laughs> so I just watched the TV show. Um, yeah. Yeah, I like some of the things that Lucy Worsley's done on on um, historical stuff. I quite like her, but it was yeah. interesting. It was quite interesting. Um, where do I get my jigsaws from? This jigsaw was a birthday present, so 
I because people know how much I like them, I do tend to get them for Christmas and birthdays or all over. I've bought some I'll buy, pick up from charity shops if I've seen them. Um, the works. Yeah, they always have some good. I'm, I noticed the um, Waterstones had a load of them. All of those ones that you and Caroline have been doing, like the book-related ones, they have a load in. Um, yes. They're quite expensive in there, I've got to say, in, in Waterstones. Yeah, well, Waterstones. I mean, this is a beautiful, the Agatha Christie, a beautiful, yeah. but they are expensive, whereas the works, that one I got you for Christmas and I bought Mum and Dad one, yeah. I think they were a fiver. I know. They have some really good jigsaws if you've got it. You've got to pick and choose, haven't you? Because it depends Absolutely. what you want to do. But, but there were sometimes the quality is not brilliant, but they're always nice. So, I ha and I have bought some off Amazon, but I only ever buy them when they're on the on sale. Yeah, um, all gifts, all over because I do them when I get back into doing them. I do them regularly. Yeah. Then, but it's nice to swap them, though, isn't it? Because you do swap, you know, and it's nice to swap them with people. To yeah. Get, you know, you know, in a bit of a round robin, then, can't you? Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah, it is. So all I all over the place. But yeah, I've had charity shop ones as well. So, um, the, in fact, the one this spot the difference one. It's a thousand piece one, and it says one piece missing, blue sky, and then on the front of the box they've kind of put a cross. Where, where it, is. it? But it is yeah. just in a bit of blue sky, and yeah. I thought that wouldn't put me off doing yeah. one. So, um, yeah, all over, all over. Um, You're right, though, Angela. The, the quality does make a difference, like some jigs. I mean, I must admit, that was jig we did at Christmas. That, to me, didn't feel like the pieces went together that brilliantly. Well, I think that's your board that's not completely flat. I think flat. it was. Uh, it was jigs. I can do and I can pick up. Right. So it probably but was the board, then. I bet I could be wrong, but I always do them on a flat table. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because if I do them on my board, it just wobbles a bit. Yeah. This, the quality is really nice, but they're not very thick pieces. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but they do... You know the you used to get that used to be like, that as a kid, that used to be like um, greetings cards, weren't they? They were that thin. Can you remember those? They were rubbish jigsaws, weren't they? Oh, have you seen Trisha managed to get your fishes one from eBay? <gasps> oh, really? Fine. You see, oh, this is like a jigsaw that you can pick up the pieces and move them around. Yes, yeah. I like but, it when, you know, when they like snap together. Yeah, this. Yeah, that's good the, then. So it's, it's good quality. Yeah. But they don't, I like them to stick like together. Them. Because then I can do a bit and move it around. So, oh, well, the challenge is on now, Trish, if you've managed to get fishes from eBay because you've got 25 hours to beat or 25 hours and whatever minutes. I think it would take me 25 years. So I'd have no patience for it whatsoever. Yeah, I, I if I can do a thousand piece jigsaw at the end, pick it up by its corners or feel like you can or you can move it around the table. Oh. That, I like that because you know if they go together properly. So, um, but Don't yeah, that yeah. Well, that's when you watch professional jigsawers. That's what they do. Oh no! Get a rolling pin out, make sure it's all level and stuck together, and then hang it up. Oh, oh only um. The only pointer I would give you is find a picture of it, like use mine that I posted, or find a picture online, take a picture on your phone of that picture so you've always got it, because when you start to put them together, it just gives you an idea of whereabouts they go. So I'd got like lots of blocks of fishes, but I needed to look at the picture to work out where on the puzzle they went. Yeah, yeah. So, because um, you can't really see on the box. Right. That would Good be look. That would be a top tip. Good luck with that then. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, Ravensburger, 
and Gibsons. I've got quite a lot of them. And the was jigs. I really like the was jigs. What was that one that, that make you you got me? I can't remember. That corner was a piece. Corner piece. Corner piece. That's right. That was a nice. That was a nice jigsaw. And sometimes you don't know. I I knew because I've bought mum and dad some in the past. What quality they are? I've yeah. had a corner piece one off Amazon before, so I knew they were good quality. And I think yeah. for a fiver, yeah, it was a nice jig. It was a nice putting together jigsaw. Yes, yeah, yeah, it was. So, but anyway, that's <coughs> that's jigsaws. Um, okay. Kath, I could. I wish I could on the way down, but I've got to get back on the way down because. We've got, I've got a meeting with Marie yeah. and Iris when yeah, I get back yeah. in the afternoon, so I've got no time. Next time. Next time. I'll have to see what I'm doing in a fortnight when I come to see Sarah and Joe at Amble. Stand by, I'll let you know. Yeah. <sighs> well, me. that's me done. That's. I think that's me done as well. The sun's just starting to... Drop a bit. Looks lovely outside. Looks really yeah. Warm. It was a really nice sunset last night. Whether it will be again tonight, I don't know. But um, yeah. So, what's everyone's plans for the weekend? Knitting, well, jigsawing. I've got to take. I'm driving Grace to the airport, East Midlands tomorrow <coughs> in the morning. So that'll be me out for a few hours. Then I can come back and do some knitting. I think. Get this sleeve. I might try and see, try and get as much done as I can tonight. Get the sleeve done, and then yeah, might concentrate on the hilly again. I don't know what else. What's everybody else doing? Or you might fancy something else. I might. Or has your blanket, as your blanket cast on, just sorted that itch? Yeah, well, I wanted to get it done because I thought if I don't get it done, I'll be like panicking last minute of getting it finished. So at least if I can, even if I pick up and do, you know, a one of those chevrons a week even, do you know what I mean? At least I'll know yeah. I'm on with it. Yes. when you don't do anything, isn't it? And then... Yes. Yeah, but it looks, it's got to be a bit chilly again, hasn't it? Yeah, I think here, it's by the middle of next week, it's going to be... 10 degrees again, so... Yeah, but the temperatures, all of a sudden, it's going from freezing cold up to, like, 14 degrees in some places. Yeah. Madness. Madness. Yeah. So, yeah, oh. I've got a few bits to do around the house, but apart from that, I'm just going to try and get some knitting done. Angela's the same as me, knitting, crochet and jigsaw. Add oh. a walk into there, Angela, and that's that's my weekend as well, I think. Wallpaper in the ceiling? Oh, my life, it's bad enough painting the ceiling, then my wallpaper in it. Yeah, that's. The, I mean, I like a bit of wallpaper, and I've got to say, I do like wallpapering. But the ceiling, Marjorie, off the thirsk with Sue to look for buttons and possibly wool. If you two come back and have not bought any wool, yeah, I will be disappointed. Exactly, and we won't believe you if you say you haven't. No. Um, Oh, knitting, sitting, trying to keep house tidy with three teens. Oh, my Lord. Oh, I think if you've got three teens in the house for the whole weekend, I would find a quiet room, shut yourself in it and leave them to it. Well, I think if there were three teens at home, I think I'd be finding the nearest dawn and going out somewhere. <laughs> yeah. And knitting bag. Yeah. And I'm, I'm sorry, I'm busy, I'm out. Fend for yourselves, yeah. I'm off. And go and find somewhere nice to go and sit for a few hours and do some knitting. I was going to say, just take your knitting or your crochet with you and disappear. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds perfect. It does. Right. Right. Well, have a good weekend, everybody. Yeah, and we shall be back next Friday. Next Friday. Before you go away again for another Friday. I mean, you're all over the place. Oh, yeah, we might. In fact, I think the weekend after then, we're not going to be... The week yeah. after... I thought we... Yeah, I thought we might have a have a day off. I think we're going to have to. But what we'll do you do that? Pardon? When is that? What it's day? February. It's the fourth of third of February. We're into so February. We'll let you know next week anyway, but I would say yeah. we'll we'll um not do that one and we'll have a week off. Yeah. But we'll we're definitely there next week. So yeah. have a good weekend, whatever you're doing. 
Yes. And see you next week. Yes. Have a good time. See you see all you later. later. Bye. Bye.